A flat fourth day pitch at the Kia Oval didn't help Surrey close the gap on Hampshire in the second division of the LV County Championship. The visitors had few problems in batting out much of the day to take the draw. That all looked likely as the last day began with Hampshire on 167 for three in reply to Surrey's 474 for eight declared. In essence, the home side needed to take 17 wickets in the final three sessions of this rain-affected match and they never really came close to that once that Will Smith and Sean Irvin batted out the first 80 minutes of the morning. What Surrey wanted was the kind of pitch that was produced for their match with Middlesex last season when off-spinner Ollie Rayner took 15 wickets in the game. Instead, they got one which didn't help these slow bowlers out too much at all, and that allowed both batsmen to settle into their innings once again. 21 overs passed by without any successes, in which this pair took the total to 226, their target of 325 to avoid the follow-on and effectively confirm the draw, getting ever closer. But Surrey were given some hope before lunch as their opponents lost three wickets in the space of five overs. After spending more than four and a half hours over his 82 runs, Smith was LBW on the paddle to Zafar Ansari. Adam Wheater then fell first ball, Tim Lindley wrecking his stumps in some style. And Hampshire were left a little worried on 237 for six as Matt Coles gave Gareth Batty a good return catch after making only a single. The man they now needed to get out was Irvin. He'd started the day with just one run to his name, but was at his 50 shortly before lunch was taken. He'd needed 84 balls for it, from which he'd hit seven fours, but those stats were somewhat irrelevant. He needed to bat for some while yet. What he didn't need to do was cause any problems for his team by running out any of his colleagues. That he nearly did, though, to new man Kyle Abbott. Batty and his captain Gary Wilson clearly had plans for Abbott as seen from this field, but the South African battled hard through half of the afternoon session. He did offer a very difficult leg side chance to Wilson off a frustrated Batty in his 79 minute stay, one which was finally ended when Abbott played a rare aggressive shot off Vikram Solanke, sending the ball to Rory Burns at mid on. Abbott had used up 70 balls in making his 18 runs. The door was opened just a fraction in the next over, when Irvin's long vigil was then ended by a thrilled Tilakaratni Dilshan. A slice drive was held by Lindley as Irvin departed for 80, an innings which had lasted for more than three hours. Dilshan then trapped Brad Taylor in front for a single to leave Hampshire on 294 for nine, and at least it looked as if the home side would be able to enforce the follow-on. The pitch, though, remained flat, and not even a follow-on would have led to a much-needed victory for Surrey. As it turned out, the last pair of Danny Briggs and James Tomlinson added 60 runs in 16 overs to take the follow-on out of the equation and ensure that this game was definitely over. It would have almost certainly been without the efforts of these two batsmen, who both made their best scores of the season. In the end, the surface and the weather were the only winners in this game, and Hampshire would have left the happier of the two teams. Tomlinson did hole out on 27 to give Solanke a second wicket, as the visitors were all out for 354, Briggs ending unbeaten on 38. Surrey batted for eight overs just to fill the remaining time, but the draw was soon confirmed, from which the home side took 12 points to Hampshire's nine. That means that the latter are likely to lose top spot to Worcestershire before this round of games is completed, while Surrey are left 16 points behind their opponents here, having played a game more.